hey, this is a little electronics project that I put together using my Arduino and a few extra parts. It is a high-speed camera trigger and doesn't actually trigger the camera, it triggers a flash. So you just leave the shutter open for a few seconds in a dim room. If the aperture is small enough, you can actually have the room lights on pretty significantly. And then you trigger a flash at exactly the moment that you want it to go off, and that's all that shows up on the film. It's pretty neat. So this is a laser. I shine it at a phototransistor, which is actually probably the hardest part of the project is aiming this correctly and getting it to stay. But once the laser is aimed at the phototransistor, the beam just stays on. And then if you break the beam, you can even do this with aerosol. It's very sensitive. Then it triggers a sequence that turns the laser off and then waits a time that you specify and then makes the flash go off. So you control the time delay between breaking the beam and the flash using this pot here. Turned this way means the flash goes off immediately when you break the beam. And turned this way, the flash waits 1,023 milliseconds. You can alter this in millisecond increments. So it's very sensitive. And for what I was trying to do, it worked great. Maybe if you wanted something on a microsecond scale, it might be a little bit insufficient, and you can figure out other ways to do that then. So, in a little more detail, the Arduino is controlling the laser power, it turns that off, and then to set off the flash, it just closes a switch, because the way a flash works is you have a capacitor that charges up, and then you short-circuit the capacitor to discharge through a bulb and that sets off a huge burst of light. And if you look at the contacts on a flash, a lot of the time there are a bunch of little contacts on the bottom, and all that actually matters for the flash going off is the one in the middle. And you want to connect that contact to the one on the side, and that basically closes the switch to discharge the capacitor. I don't have a flash with me because I was borrowing one from a friend, but I used this little relay for the switch, so the Arduino just controls that, and it closes it for one millisecond, but the capacitor can discharge much more quickly than that if you have a good flash. And then it takes a picture. So I got a bunch of really cool high-speed photographs. I got flower being shot through a syringe, some water dropping, some really great pictures of smashing fruit, things like that and you can try stuff out for yourself. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.